We took the recipes from the European Union, we took the recipes from the United States. None of the recipes worked. More bloodshed, more people were dying. So what do we do? Okay, we do something and we save people. And now we're the safest country in the Western Hemisphere. But suddenly something's bad. Oh, but you shouldn't do that. You should do what I think you should do. Why? If it, not only we have the right to do what we think is right and the, what the Salvadoran people are gonna decide whether or not they want this day in, in free elections, but also we've proven it works. And you haven't proven that your system works in our country. It might work in yours, I don't know. But it doesn't work in ours. It's like I told one time um, a member of the European Union, I know you, 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 you Brexited that, but I told a member of the European Union, you take your best government, choose your best government. I, I, know, I don't know what's your best, the best government in Europe, but you choose your best government. Same people, same talent, same experts, same will to do things the right way. You take your best government and you put them to govern Afghanistan and tell them, okay, you govern Afghanistan the same way you govern this European country. They'll be dead in a week because you cannot govern Afghanistan like you govern Europe. So stop trying to, 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 to make us use your recipes because they don't work here. You have your, you have your own system. We're not, we don't tell you that you shouldn't have a monarchy. I mean, we're fine with your monarchy. We, we love your monarchy, it's fine. But we don't say, oh, you shouldn't have a monarchy, and you shouldn't have hereditary titles. In, in, why? Because it's your country, you can do whatever you want with it. But suddenly, we have to do what you want to do with our country. Welcome back to Crash and Eddie. I'm Eddie. Crash, where are you, dude? Where are you? All right. Today, I mean, you guys really seem to enjoy the EOE. <laughs> Explainers. Tutorials. Uh, so we're going to not do that anymore. Anyways. Yeah, we will. We're going to follow. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, They're having some hiccups, but uh, that's part of uh, that's part of making games. It's part of entertainment in general. As you've seen from this show. So anyways, today we're going to check out, we're going to give you a quick Flare update. Talk a little bit about Flare, talk a little bit about Songbird, talk a little bit about XRP and kind of the markets, get back to some crypto stuff. Um, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe. Um... And this is not financial advice, just for entertainment purposes and educational thoughts that you may consider. But really, it's just our opinion, and that's how we're going to roll. Anyways, XRP had a huge day yesterday, and now it's giving it all back, down 7.5%. That was up like 20% to over 70. I think it got up to like 74, 75. And now it's giving it back. So we'll see. It's kind of a red day today. Um, don't forget these markets are completely manipulated. IMO. Um, so they're going to turn them on exactly and to whatever levels they need it's kind of what i'm thinking but not that there's no markets but or true market dynamic i should say but they seem very manipulated so and these are not like stocks cryptos are nothing like stocks they're actually pieces of networks that you can actually take part in so very unique new asset class that's why i started getting into it is because i saw a new asset class coming about and that is one heck of a rare event like we'll never see it again in our lifetime so and you got to deal with it one way or another you will be dealing with it so you can deal with it by just reacting to it or you can be proactive and take advantage of it and learn and grow which you know that's that's my thing that's what you got to do so anywho flare is about 3.8 cents this thing got to well let's get to some charts here hold on a second that's 
yeah so that's the current price um let's talk about flare for a little bit okay so you know remember flare is actually in the top 100 now um pretty markedly so i typically look at the higher quality tokens i don't mess around with the garbage crash that was one thing that kind of annoyed me about him he got into some sewage and i just don't do it i found through my career um back in the brokerage business and um really anything it just pays to deal with quality so that's what i try and do and in crypto you just to me, you get rid of a lot of risk, not at all all the risk. I mean, it's this is pretty much the riskiest, riskiest asset class you can be involved with. So um, you got to be super careful and be diversified. But you also, in my opinion, I want to create large positions, small positions, you know, and and. I think Warren Buffett stated this best, you know, being diversified is a good way to not make money. That's not what he said, but basically it kind of is, you know, I mean, diversification is if you don't know what you're doing. So I like to dig deep into anything I own and then, and then, um, go from there but if you have a bunch of small positions you're not really going to make any money in in an asset class that should make you literally x's on your money you should make you know multiples on your money you're not in crypto to to you know get 20 percent i mean some people play that strategy i don't not a trader looking for value over the long run not that you never you don't trade but um more of a a long-term swing trader i would say i would say which is a weird term but um anyways so yeah flares that ranked at number 181 at for coin market cap um so let's take a quick look just to refresh now flare is a DeFi network okay so so you're into decentralized finance when you're into flare which is you know here's the one day chart so it's actually kind of tanking a little bit which is you know that's interesting not i mean everything kind of is it's it's kind of a give some back day, which is, you know, the whole market's at 2.65 trillion. Um, here's the month chart, you know, got up to well over five cents. Uh, here's the year chart. Um, so, and keep in mind with Flare, you know, you get rewards twice a week. Um, and that is, you can now stake Flare, which that's one approach to take. You can also get rewarded for um, being part of their decentralized Oracle um, and supporting that, that system. So, um, so you can do it either way. You can't do it both with one token i don't think you have to either stake or be part of that but there are going to be ways on flare to make multiple multiple earnings on one token which is kind of ridiculous but again this isn't it's not a stock these are these are networks and you're facilitating, you might lend your token, you might, there's a lot of different ways, and most of them aren't even out yet. This is, it's early days for this network, um, so there's, there's still a lot coming. Okay, so here is Flare's drop schedule. 
And yesterday we had the, on March 11th, we had the 13th drop. So there are um, another 23 left for a total of 36. Yeah, so... Yep. So, and these are larger drops. Basically, you got yesterday, you got about about four, a little over 4% of whatever you held in a drop. So, these are monthly drops, once a month. And this is how they're getting it. They're getting the network out in a decentral, decentralized fashion. So, you know, a lot of people they're like, "Oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna get busted with Flare." It's not the whole concept with Flare is being decentralized. It's what they do. So, you know, to participate in this, it's you know, and if you don't hold the token, you don't you don't get the drops so so um you can sell at any time you can get it and then sell and then you know you can buy it back you can trade it and it is being traded it's on a lot of exchanges i mean that's one thing that tipped me off that this thing was going to be for real is that very it's on a ton of exchanges you know there's been issues with coinbase but um you know, do your own research with all these tokens. I'm just giving you an update. You know, there's this is it's deep and it's complicated. You can go to flare.network to do your own research. Um and yeah, it's just there's a lot going on with this, but basically the the overall larger concept with this is is F assets. And what that's going to be is, you know, and this is kind of one of the cores that they're doing, is they do some definite unique bridging, which I think is a game changer. Because you're going to bridge to different networks in and out of Flare, and it's going to be, it's going to be completely collateralized, like, like two times or something. And then, again, this is what you can use your Flare for and get paid to do it. Um, and bridges in the crypto space it's the biggest point of vulnerability it's what all the hackers go at so if you solve the bridging problem to me it's a big big deal so that and the f asset system basically what it is is you're going to bring in um you're going to bring in different tokens that don't have DeFi um elements to them like doge like xlm like xrp like bitcoin and you're going to wrap them with flare and give them the ability to have DeFi with them so it's a big big deal um and right now <clears throat> as far as so flare i mean it's kind of they're all about data, and that's why they did a deal recently with Google, where Google's coming in and running one of their validators, I believe. Um, and uh, basically, let's see if there's news on that. is a layer one i don't see the google news and i'm not looking it up but but basically google's getting involved at a higher level and google's big into crypto so make no mistake about it. if you say you're not oh chris crypto's risky it's i don't know if it's going to be around all that you're basically going against behemoths like blackrock like google like you know fidelity you name it, they're into it. Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, who's lied about everything, you know. Um, so, be careful, people. You you're gonna be forced into this eventually because basically every asset's gonna be tokenized. 
Um, but anyways, so back to Flair. Um, yeah, it's so they have the F asset system. That's a huge thing. Bridging's another huge thing. Um, and this stuff's all basically coming out. I think to for the most part this year or a lot of it's going to be this year like in a matter of months it's it's coming pretty quick um let's just see Yeah, here's the news. Google Cloud will be one of 100 organizations adopting a new combined role of validator and contributor to the FTSO on Flare. Keep in mind to Flare, this doesn't get talked about a lot, and maybe I'm nuts, but to me, Flare is kind of a direct competitor of, let's see here, hold on here, of one popular one that is Chainlink. Chainlink, so what Chainlink does is they provide data, but Chainlink's a blockchain, and again, this is a, I don't, is Chainlink, let me see this here. All right, I wasn't going to get into the weeds with this, but real quick, we're going to do it. So Chainlink, um, I made something on Chainlink back in the day. It was good. It's, it's solid, but one thing I don't like is I don't, they don't really call it a layer two, but it's basically Chainlink uses an Ethereum-based ERC-20 token to secure the Oracle network. So it's a layer two to Ethereum. IMO. I mean, people can say it's not. Chainlink, however, Chainlink is a step ahead of Ethereum as it already has proof of stake, POS consensus mechanism already in place. Um, POS determines which node to validate transactions based on how many link tokens they have staked to the network. So it is. It's a it's a staking system it's proof of stake um pos consumes less energy than proof of work yeah so i'm not but my thing is it's not really decentralized as far as the data and the data is not going to be as good um whereas with flare i think it's a higher quality and you have a lot of it's it's more advanced technology so do your own research people wanted to give you an update on flare the other thing with flare is you want to understand and remember we've talked about this but it's basically a two token system so um the other token is songbird and this is songbird is not a test network it is a canary network and the difference is it's a live real token so projects are going to come in generally through songbird um the thing is about songbird is it is not decentralized the way flare is so certain projects like for instance the f assets as i understand it are going directly to flare because you have to have that decentralized um, system but a lot of other stuff is going to start out on songbird and then go to flare the other thing about songbird is you want to know that flare is going to have upwards of 100 billion tokens whereas songbird only will have i think a maximum of 28 billion um right now it's got a total supply of 16 but i think they'll go up to 28 but it's significantly smaller so as they get used 
Excuse me. And put into place. Um, you are. You're looking at once utility kicks in. You're looking at something with a much smaller float. So Songbird to me um, offers some interesting value. Um, again, same situation. Only this thing I think came out. It came out before Flare, and it came out at about 60 cents and dropped like a rock. Down to lows of, you know, 0 .00, like, 4 and stuff. I mean, it was, it got pretty, yeah, there's some 4s. It got into the 004, so. Of late, it's come back up to about, you know, like a penny and a half. Um. But I think as this bull market goes and these guys start cranking, you know, it's going to be an interesting token. So, again, do your own research. Investments are appropriate for some people, not appropriate for others. So, different um, cryptos. I'm just kind of exposing you to to what I see and some some stuff that's interesting. Again, with crypto, you guys, remember, your money was made really like a year to two years ago when things bottomed out. That's when you make your money in crypto. It's not now once the bull run starts. You can make money in the bull run for sure, and you will, but you should really be looking to exit, you know, depending on your strategy, you know. Um, and some stuff, you know, it's, you don't really want to sell, but it, it all depends on your individual situation, you know. Some of these things are huge. Should you have ever bought Amazon and sold it? Probably not. You know, um, you know, it's, it's, most of your money is, is made buying and holding. You can make a ton of money trading and that can be a strategy. And if you're going to trade, crypto is, it's the most volatile of all assets from what I've seen. So, so you know, extreme volatility, and that's what you're going to get now. I mean, it's we're probably coming up on a pretty significant, significant correction, although this is a completely different market, it seems, because of the ETF. So, you know, don't... Uh, don't fool yourself. Institutions are coming in and <clears throat> they've captured Bitcoin. So it's pretty much Bitcoin 69.3 right now. So it's, it's it's having a little correction here and look at XRP down to 67. It's extremely volatile, this game, and even more so during a bull market. Nothing goes straight up. So... um but to me, volatility is life. If something's not volatile, it doesn't have energy, and, you know, kind of the whole market's correcting a little bit today for the most part. Um, and that's what you see kind of what's going on. You got Gala is, they've really come alive too and pretty much doubled. Now it's 6.9 cents-ish. That got up to like seven, eight, almost eight cents a couple days ago. Look at up 65% for the week. One of the best gainers for the week. Fetch AI. You got the whole AI scam thing working. Floki, meme coin. Um, yeah, stuff for the week. The graph is up 45 for the week. Renders up 59. So. And XRP is only up 8% now for the week, so for the 7-day. Bitcoin's up 7, Ethereum's up 6, probably it's a little bit more, but okay. Um, Solana's up 10, now people love Solana, and then it goes down, so. Um, anyways... Yeah, so that's just a little bit of a flare update. I wanted to give you guys that. They have a ton going on. Um, do your own research. Go to, to flare.network and you can uh, see a lot about what's going on and uh, dig into that project. But that's the deal. You're getting 
drops twice a week and then a monthly drop for another 23 months so and then that'll be it that'll be it'll be floated out there and and the network will be done with its distributions except for the the weekly ones and there's different ways to 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 play your DeFi, which isn't going away so that to me that's going to be the new bond system is going to be DeFi. bonds are going to be on there um along with all your assets are going to be tokenized so pay attention to what's going on this is it's big there's a reason that people are digging into it and now institutions so um so yeah that's that uh yeah that's about it for this one i just wanted to kind of bring it to your attention see we haven't talked about flare for a while since we haven't talked about anything for a while so i want to let you guys know where that's at um there's some excellent youtubers out there that are making way better videos about flare so you can dig into it um depending on how deep you want to go uh so see what you think of it that's kind of your update for today um we'll see where this market heads it looks like we're going into a, a nice little correction here so um yeah so it's kind of a sea of red right now this is the top 100 bubbles so yeah you got pretty much everything down except for avaxes and avax was a good one that is i heard oddly that they went down i gotta dig into that a little bit like over the last week that network had a little hiccup which i was surprised to hear about um so but corrections are when you look at stuff not when everything's pumping you guys should know that by now listen to old crash and eddie so all right people have a tremendous day and rest of the week and like my good buddy said many times words of wisdom god helps those who help themselves so pick yourself up by the bootstrap have a good attitude and help yourself there's amazing opportunities out there hit the like and subscribe and share this as much as you can with anyone you can so that we can get going and get this channel off the ground people we will talk to you real soon. Bye.